Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Downfall. Um, I've been trying the video Shadow Player to uh, see if that records better quality recordings of this, but it doesn't. So we'll just have to continue with the uh, with the game as it is. Um, but never mind. Um, Let's just uh, get on with it. One more thing, though, actually, I um, I played ahead till the end, and in doing so, I accidentally got rid of a file of a save file, which means I've had to redo a lot of this. And in redoing a lot of this, um, I, I changed something. I didn't uh, blow out the candle as Agnes, in the uh, wing of the coffins. So the only real difference is in this version, uh, she didn't kill someone by accident. And uh, I don't know if that will be important later or not, but I thought it was probably worth mentioning. But uh, here we are back with Arson. But this is not where we need to go. I have a better idea now of what we need to do, and we're going to do it. I don't know why I went on to the first floor when it's ground floor I need to go to, but never mind. I'll meet you where we need to go in a minute. Now you don't know why. Don't start feeling sorry for it. It was born to die. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. Their brains are very similar to ours. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. I have a smag fridge. Anyway, uh, trust me, we're going to want to do this. Yeah, so, um, the fact that I've been trying it until the end and, uh, trying to get Shadow Prey to work better and stuff like that is why it's been several days since I last uploaded. I don't know what, um, what game I'm going to move on to after this. There can only really be two or three episodes left of this to go. So, uh, this is what we've got. Don't know what it is with this game of elephants. I suppose there's only two of them, but still. back. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I did take something from him. What? You don't want to know. Can you give it back? No, but now he's being a bitch about it. But isn't he dead? Somehow it didn't stop him from pulling that lever back, and I've got a feeling he'll do it again and again. So, if you can't give him what he wants, then maybe we can bring him something else instead. Yeah. Let's look around for a replacement. Now then, you may have already figured this out quicker than I have, but yes, there is something we can do with gas and cigarettes soon. Thank you. 
desk, I switched it on. I suppose there's no point in mentioning it if you can't actually hear them, but these, uh, these creepy sound effects are very impressive. They've, uh, they've really given it the right sense of atmosphere here. There's more to than one ending to this game, but I don't know how to get the other endings. And, as you know, I'm not really a completionist, but if I f ever feel like it, I guess, I will, uh... I will try to get all of the other endings. For now, it will just be whichever ending it happens to be. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry. I've got it under control. Now, we need to kill the Sophie. But, well, the game doesn't really give you a choice. I tried replaying it without King Cut or killing the first Sophie, and that's not possible. The game forces you to. And unfortunately, the game is also going to force us to kill our hey, you here. Have a, a cigarette, would you? I'm all out, and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. I suppose you could say Allison deserves it, but I'm not really sure that he's, he's quite done enough to deserve this. Um, all right. One thing I like about the cat lady above this, making it better than this, is all of the people in the cat lady really, really deserve it. And the game does sort of make it more about the choice. You still end up killing people, or, or your main character does, but at the very least it comes down to a chance of am I doing this willingly, or am I doing it to survive? And uh, I feel this game just, just says, no, you'll do this because it's the only way to win and then I'll make you feel horrible about it. Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey man, you can't smoke here. See that sign? Are you for real? Who gives a shit? Look, you'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? Well... That would ruin my hair. There's a bathroom just there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. Laters. To be fair, Agnes must have known he would choose bathroom. I won't get too close if I were you. So I'm going to. Joe. Well, I suppose if you're going to do a <laughs> James Bond here, then you might as well make it a good one. It's true when they say that smoking kills. Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. Well, we've, uh... We've completed our task, as you can see. That's uh, that's two we got now, but uh... well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. I I had to do this. Yeah, yeah, I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are. Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And. Stay close, please. There is actually a good reason why he doesn't just walk out on him with Ocean. You'll find out why later. Um. Uh, 
You all right? No, I'm not all right. What happened? I tripped over some legs. Harrison, always an asshole, even after death. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. And we've lost the shotgun, but never mind. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! Oh, she is just having the worst luck. Coast today. clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. I don't know, it looks like it's looking slightly upwards to me. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Now, you might remember that we picked up some ingredients earlier as well, like castor oil, for example. And that... I don't know, I think that's actually some sort of herbs. Um, and not what we thought it was. And that's some uh, gin there, so yeah, we picked up a few things. It's going to be useful. Okay, well I could have sworn that the game gave us a clue, but uh, since it hasn't, let's just look at the recipe. What it wants you to do is uh, cook. doesn't matter that much about the, the order because it will warn you if you're putting things in the wrong place. Um, so you're cooking us dinner now? No. It's not for us. Oh, good. Good. Because you're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No? I think I'll try anyway. Trust me, that's not the worst thing that's going to happen to this. See, it's a bit tells you. I'm not actually sure how uh, how fun will cast all is. So oregano, the oil, the uh, drink. Ah, we've had the clue, I suppose, eat me. What you doing there, Joe? Cooking. Is that, is that a human head? Just following a recipe. Alright, we're not going to be able to tell.
take it unless we have something we can grab it with. I may have forgotten to do so. Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise, it was too much. I would freak out too. You know, can't believe some people think that the violence in this game is gratuitous and unnecessary. Pull yourself together. We've seen worse things here. Yeah, I know. The bathroom upstairs is still number one on the list. Yep. Come on then, and don't forget to take your smoothie. And I almost did. Banda turned itself off. Never mind. Probably not too good for you. I'll meet you in a sec. Instead of meeting you in a sack, I decided to let you listen to music. She's not here. Great. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No. Not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? I bet it's got something to do with her. You think she took it? But where? Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. I really will meet you there in a minute. Ivy! You're alive! Okay. What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. That's because I have. Come on. You're not the kind of guy who gets scared of ghosts. No. But that was... different. It was Ivy. Right there. I can't see anything. She was there. 
I know what I saw. You really love your Ivy, don't you? It's complicated. Always is with relationships. How would you know? You don't even remember who you are. Don't be a dick. I was only trying to help. I'm sorry. I'm not used to talking about it. I... I don't really have many friends. It was always just me and Ivy and our stupid problems. It's okay. I understand. Fist bump? Sure. Interesting that he does the same thing that the child Ivy did to Joe when he was a kid. You might want to uh, take note of that. It's not vitally important, but it is an interesting thing to notice. Oh, it's you! Hello? Come in, come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We've got visitors. You must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit poorly today. Yes, see, um, he sort of rocks there. No worries. Let him sleep. Oh, I'm so excited. We've had a good talk, and he's promised to change his ways. Now, he will never walk away from me again. <laughs> he couldn't if he tried. I've got something for you. Oh, how nice! What is it? I've found this recipe for a smoothie. My secret recipe! I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, I've got it, and I made it for you. Sweet! It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... I can start one tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. I don't think you'll mind that much. Are you sure this is what you want? Take like that to be a yes. Sorry. Mm, so good. Are you feeling alright? Yes. Wait, I. I don't know. Left a funny aftertaste in my mouth. Do you add oregano? Oh! Oof! My stomach! I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? Really sorry. to do. I'm not sure anyone could possibly like Joe at this point. You could say that it's my choice, that it's my fault. And in a way, I suppose it is, but in another way, and this is, as I said earlier, why I don't like the game. In a way, the game did give me a choice. I would really like to have not had the gorgeous money deaths, but... And then the game makes you feel bad about it, like it's your fault. Joe, do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> we just can't carry on like this. 
It's time for a serious talk. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Joe, whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? I just feel it. She's not a real person. You can tell it's a serious talk because he spelt serious in block capitals. Anyway, that's the end for this episode. I will see you next time.